kingdom of Eswatini. Welcome back to Let's Cook with another one of our special chefs in the kingdom of Eswatini. You know we promised to give you the best of the cooks in the kingdom and we have done just that. We are here to give you another three course meal that you can enjoy this festive season. And we are joined by someone whose cooking journey started as far back as 1999 and he has served across many food establishments in the kingdom of Eswatini. But right now he is currently serving at Gonyeni Golf Estate, the grill restaurant. I am talking about none other than Sifiso Masugu who is with us today to give us a delicious three-course meal but before we start with that let's find out who our chef is. Sifiso Masugu is a 39 year old chef who started cooking in 1999. He joined the hospitality industry working at Royal Swazi in various departments before becoming a chef. He did his training in 2005 which is on job training as a chef coordinated by Chief Executive Chef Mr. Conrad Gallagher, who did most of the training for South International Hotels across the continent. He likes reading cookbooks and trying out new dishes and cooking skills, and that's what inspired him. He is now serving at Ngonyenikov Estate at the Grill as their chef there. We have promised to bring you the best of everything food and we are doing just that. We are joined by Chef Sfiso who is with me in the kitchen to give you another sweet, another salty dish that you can prepare this festive season. But right about now, we are about to engage with our chef so he can tell us, Kutsi, what is he doing on the kitchen ones and twos? Um, chef, welcome to the show. Welcome, my sister. Um, yeah. My name is Sfiso. Well, I'm from Zulini, so I've been in this industry for quite a long time. Certainly. Um, today I've uh, prepared some few dishes. It's going to be a three-course meal, uh, starting from a main course. I'm sorry, starting from starter, main course, and dessert. So these are some of my ingredients. And for now, I'll start by preparing the dessert, dessert. because it takes a long time. All so right. as you can see, these are some of my items that I've put in front of me. Okay. So I'll start by making a, a dessert and keep it in the fridge then we can proceed. Okay, as yes, you yes. heard, Babugele Makai, we are going to start with our very lovely dessert, Ngbonabo chocolate, Ngbonema biscuit. Ngati kukul lokto shlanga nalana, but we have our chef, Tos Kazela, who see that my ingredients lawa begin be great for yini and do towa sebendi sakanjani. And most importantly, what we like the viewers to know is how long do these dishes take to make? Can I make it in the comfort of my own home? Or meleng nangi fu nangi tegu? Chef, No, Invalendeago, my sister, it doesn't take time. It's uh, almost three hours after okay. it's done. Right. So what I'm going to do, um, I'll start by preparing all this. Okay. Uh, step by step, then I keep it in the fridge. Uh, it is that time, it's going to be a peppermint crisp tart. Mm. So yeah, so there's some chocolate, uh, some condensed milk, biscuits, and some fresh cream. Oh, right. Actually, I've got a whipped one because whipped I don't cream. want to take long. Okay. Yeah, instead of whipping, I mean, I prefer oh. to buy this one. Okay, it yeah. works just the same. It works just the same. Oh, right. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Um, I love you to get into it so the viewers can see the process. We are starting with the dessert and then head, heading over to our main or our starter. Rather, our starter, because yes. Because we want yes. let dessert is set. It does set yes. All yes, right. Yes. Um, can you please begin the process so that Stobona would see that they have a Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so, I'll put my mixing bowl here. Um, Baking tray, young Lana. Okay. I'll start by spraying the nakuza and kuzina to ski kalena here. Okay. So I sting, I spray them nicely. So logo we are paga in no main for long as a bendis fridge getting it over. No, I'm eating it. It's a it's it's a it's a pepper and fridge tart. Oh, okay. So you just keep it in the fridge like uh, other dessert la la soft in general, but my cheesecake and stuff. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's no need to bake it because it, it's soft and cool. Yeah. yeah. And now we know about Bugele Makai, so you don't need to necessarily have a um, meat oven to enjoy dessert. Yes, yes. But chef, take us away. Okay, I'll start um, by putting the dessert in the oven. But chef, take it away, please. Okay, um, thank you. Move on to your next step. And for our sweet tooth lovers, we have peppermint crisp tart. The ingredients are chocolate mint bar, fresh cream, caramel, 
tennis biscuits, vanilla ice cream, white sugar, apricot jam, food coloring, and chocolate powder. Um, so I'll need one can of this. Okay. Yeah. That's the condensed That's milk. That's the condensed milk. Oh, first of all, I'll start by putting my cream. You have to shake it first because it's it it, 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 it fluffy. All right. Yeah. And you are a very experienced mm. individual. I mean, when it comes to umbalo wako, you have certainly yeah, put a I've mark. Yeah, I've been here for quite a long time. And I think I'm going to say that. 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 So, this is a cream to my sister. All right. Just in the bowl. In the bowl. But I'll just make a small portion because it's only for, I'm preparing for three people. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. So, I don't want to waste. So, if yeah. you're making for mm. a whole family, because that's the whole objective um, mm. for the viewers to enjoy it with their whole family, how uh, I'll make something big because usually my baking, I use uh, recipes all okay. the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, what I normally do, if it's a big function or big, uh, a lot of people, I just double up the, the recipe. Fresh cream, yellow, spara yonala, and whip, and mix it with my condensed. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll just pour everything here. Yeah. This is a yeah. very sweet dish yeah. because I bought the condensed mm, mm. in, in for the yeah, sweet. The sweet. Yeah. Just so the here. whole can goes yeah. in. Yeah, the whole can goes in. Mix it nicely. Oh, okay. Mix it nicely, nicely, nicely. It already looks like yeah. there's a little nice mm. <laughs> I mix that. Let me just get something to wipe here because. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we mix it again. Then since the chocolate yummy, but really, yeah, just created chocolate inside. Okay. Yeah, but I'm full with seven is on because that means I seven is on top just to garnish. Okay. Yeah. So it's not going to be really nice. So it's really yeah. for the sweet tooth lovers. Yeah. This is great set. Chocolate, my great seller. What other mm. healthy desserts can you suggest that people make maybe? Um, for Labandula, Labanga Tanzi looks sweet. In Kambi, Naban is substitute ingredient. Guyo Yonale. Gule, Gule Nangel is a substitute because of the sweet gong. Okay. Yeah. Corner Lenny dessert, Labanga Yaka. Yeah, you call Labanga Yaka for people Labanga Tanzi, Tim Politi. Sweet, like in general, the same mm. Maybe something like uh, bo fruit flay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's I, got I, a lot of fruits inside. Okay. Yeah, and I end up It's very healthy. Yeah, it's very healthy. So, okay. what I'm going to do now, I'm done here. Uh, okay. So, that's quick. So, trailer, Miguel, put some biscuits. Okay. Yeah. Just tennis just, biscuits. Yeah, just tennis biscuits. Okay. Yeah. Open it up here. Quick, quick. Now, biscuits, Nami, now and you're going yeah. with the whole packet? Not, not the whole packet, okay. yeah, just a few. Yeah. Then some go bigger my layers. Some yeah. others prefer to crush them first. With no, this, this time I don't like, I mean, for, for my dessert, I won't crush it because it's not something like a, a cheesecake. Oh, oh, so I want it with okay. Nangi lifter. I, 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 I want to get the bottom base. Oh, yeah, Ipagamina in Nangi Siga, I think he cut into slices. Even a little sound, you see. Yeah, Toba Gula Lula, we Pagamis. All right. Yeah, so I'm the bigger line, my biscuits army, my bigger. This is the first layer. Okay. Yeah, mind you. And how many yeah. layers usually go? I'll make two layers. Okay. Yeah, I'll make two layers. So I'll just pour it in here. Pour it nicely, pour it nicely. That's your yeah. condensed milk, yeah. chocolate yeah. whipped cream mix. Yeah. Um, you said mm. you can prepare the the whipped cream with in another way. Yeah. Instead of just buying that. Yeah. Instead of buying it? this, we can just uh, use fresh cream. Oh. But you have to get a, a, a blender so you can whip it. Whip it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm. So I prefer this one because it's fast. I don't have a blender in my kitchen. Yeah. I think I need to buy one. <laughs> okay. That's what yeah. we love. Yeah. We have the easier, the easier technique. Uh, one more biscuit. Or one or two. Another layer on top. Okay. So far, la. Yes. Just. Mm. I balance my sister here. So. 
cover it nicely, 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 nicely. All over. Yeah, all over. Yeah. Okay, done. That's it. So what I'm going to do now, then another grated chocolate all on right. top, just to cover nicely. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, just to get a nice crispy and crusty topping, you see. Yeah. And then you said it's a dish that you can prepare overnight. To you make can sure prepare that overnight. Yeah, actually, this one you prepare overnight and keep it in the fridge. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's more it's more nicer when you prepare it the day overnight. before. But yes. you can have yeah. it hours, maybe. Yes. Like three yes. hours before. Yes, like three hours said. before. Yes. All yes. Right. Yes, you can do but that. But overnight is really mm. a preference. Too. Yeah. And because sure once that it stays you get the in the fridge, uh, it matures and becomes more tasty oh, and okay. you know very very sweet at I the same time. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Desserts much open. Mm. So See, now I'm done. Good. Going to keep it in the fridge now. All right. Yes. See. And just like that, everything is done. You pop it in the fridge and you can enjoy your very yes. delicious peppermint crisp. Yes. But while this sits, um, we're going to move on to our very delicious starter, which you are going to be preparing for us. Um, let's get on to the next level. Yeah. So let me just keep it in the fridge. All then right. after that, we're going for... Uh, our starter. Now moving on to a dish that is very interesting. A meal that you eat before you really eat. We are going to be making our starter with our chef. And what I've realized about Chef Word from Namukla, good see. Um, can you please explain what you are making for our starter today? Okay, um, for starter, I'll be making a beef carpaccio. Mm. So, a beef carpaccio, you don't cook it. When I was a preparer, it has a fridge and it stays overnight. Our ingredients are beef fillet, olive oil, capers, fresh rocket, Dijon mustard, red onion, black pepper, salt, lemon juice, brandy, fresh garlic, parmesan cheese, tomatoes, and balsamic vinegar. All right, yeah. Chef, can you please just tell us your list of ingredients? So, the lamb ne nepi fillet. Okay. Yeah, because no sense if you fillet because it's soft, mm. not any other meat. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a fillet steak. Uh, I've got rosemary, uh, got salt, garlic, uh, white pepper, and mustard. Then, send the olive oil. Olive. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And can you just jump right into the process? Okay. Stalangan. Stalangan in Miami. It's at Sinya Mungi Begala. Um, First of all, I'll mix a soy okay. with uh, white pepper and a bit of uh, black pepper. Mix it nicely, yeah, about 5, 10, 15 grams okay. of it. Okay. But Not you did men mention that. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but I just stick to the recipe. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to just need how much of this. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, Angsa is Kalim. So the yeah. viewers at home can mm. just use that, but in accordance to how many people you are preparing this yeah. dish for, that's how you spice yeah. so it up. So this is salt and pepper. All right. Quick, quick salt and pepper. I'm going to fire it And got some chopped rosemary. Now I'm going to fire it up. The 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 pepper I make one once. And can you use yeah. maybe le rosemary spice? The, the dry one. I don't no. like it because you eat it, 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 that smell. Mm. Yeah, so I prefer fresh herbs all the time when cooking. Okay. Yeah, because in that you see, you taste it and everything. The flavor. Yeah, it's like. a So now I'm going to chop it, finely chopped rosemary. Okay. Yeah. At the same time, now that's a pelong and chub. Yeah. So you just chop yeah. up your rosemary? Yeah, just chop up nicely, it'll be fine. Mm. Yes. Then, so I'm going to put it on top of the little nicely. Okay. Okay, then, then for the mustard. mustard. Yeah, okay. but I prefer Dijon mustard. Oh. But now the whole grain mustard, it also works. It works yeah. the same. Yeah, so now I'm going to put it it Probably works as a spread. A teaspoon, yeah. Because you can the fillet yam. Just depending yeah. on how much meat yeah. you have. I marinate some nanzi. Mm. Yes, and a bit of 
olive oil. oil. Okay. So that's what I do. We use Cuban banana oil. My spices are. Angasugan. Angasugan. Yeah. I'm going to fry it like olive oil. I can't open this. Okay. All right. Put it here. Olive oil. All over. All over. Look, guys, I'm going olive oil, but it's a bit healthier even for our. Yeah, it's for healthy. Our... I mean, that was in your maybe tender. Mm. Yeah. So. I'm going to put some fula eh ikali kiami. Garlic clove, I just use two garlic cloves. Okay. Yeah, and again, just fresh garlic. Just fresh garlic. But I don't you can like go the for the mince. Because in the preserve view, it's, uh, it's not nice. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the flavors tend to disappear a bit. Yes, they do. So and now it's going to be grated uh, oh, right. garlic. I grate and you fine, 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 right. fine, fine. I think one will do. Can you try just this? Just two garlic yeah. cloves. Just two garlic cloves because it's a small steak. Mm. You're spreading that all over your 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 fillet steak, and you did yeah. tell me that yeah. there's a very special special ingredient that you are using um, in making this dish, Loi Pegai Fritchin. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> you tell me, chef. <laughs> you are the chef here, yeah. but yeah. the viewers at, at home will know. Um, you said Ngleo in Vela le. Yeah, Ngleo na Vela in Vela. Yeah, Ngleo in Vela. We pray that I I capacho. Yeah. 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 Min ang guide pronounce la makamala wala. A chef. Okay, nyo na ifa la clean rep. Okay. Yeah, if nangi roll nicely. Mm. Roll nicely using my clean rep. Ah, uh, stretch. Again. So that other ingredient, when did you add it? Which one? The one that you said. Oh, the brandy. Help, yes, yeah, the brandy. just add it on top. Yeah. Before you uh, you put it in the Before clean I wrap. put it in the clean wrap. Yeah. Flanging mm. get the la to go to Kuzanyan. So ngiyo lele sebenta kutsi. Ngiyo lele sebenta iyendele nyama imaturish i peg overnight because okay. alcohol I understand that kutsi i yashisa. So right. once you put it on top it ta enda kutsi ingathi yashisa. Ngasi ngasi ya pegeke. Okay. Then the next day you can save it. All right. Yes. And you just chop chop straight yeah. away and you eat. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is got a problem. But it just just have here. Yeah. Stretch it. Okay. Okay. Just go this way. All right. So I roll again, yalo. I roll on the sides. I put your fingers on the sides like this. Uh, okay. Let me just cut it here. I think All I'm right. Done. And that's it. Yeah. So I roll again, yalo. Because if you roll it tight, see the frame is oh, clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the, 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 the brand doesn't escape. Yeah, so the brand does not escape. So you roll again. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, in the opinion of the umro, the nine clean the stock when I was not in place, let's see faster. It all it all by tight. Yeah, it all by tight here friction. Okay. See? Okay. I love how there's so yeah. many chef techniques yeah. that the viewers at home can learn yeah. that we thought were very hard, but it's yeah. very easy yeah. to do. Okay. Okay. And again. Yes. Go in with nicely. our clean wrap. Okay. Done. And just like that. Yes. That so you're going to set fire fridge in. Okay. Yes. And for how long do you um, keep it in the fridge? Um, I would say for one night. It should stay in the fridge for a night. So you yeah, make I it can't, the I can't just keep day. it for a few hours because when I cook it, I pay it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you're going to fire fridge in. So does it cook right through, which is a very interesting fact that yes. I want to know. Oh, it's for your re meat No, no, no. You are pegging on right through. The more you keep it, yeah. The more you we look No, it does a clean. Nothing, nothing. It out, it out but it's really sort of a, a cold meat. Oh, yes. All right. Angenge mm, usai lengati. Yes. The chua labu lengati. Until is a ibope ipere lenga. The best thing is it's all nice cold, cold meat. meat. Yes. Okay. But yeah. luckily we will get to get to that and yeah. enjoy the meal that you have prepared for us. All right. Asamu sasa ni fresh ni ge. So that Return. goes into the fridge overnight. Yeah. Babugela makaya just like that. Twenty minutes top. So that the thing is very hard name to pronounce. Um, uh, beef capacho. Beef capacio. Yes. So it's got the beef capacio, Yako, and your family can enjoy that. But right about now, you know this is the favorite part of every meal, the main course. Um, we're going to jump into that, Chef, and you are going to be telling us what you have prepared for us for our main course. Mm, okay. Let's see. And now, my lovely viewers, for the food that we eat 
and certainly do enjoy our main course. Last time I could pass this to enjoy it. Before we get the part, last time I could not treat Kangani. We are having our main course. I can see fish, cheese. It's a lot of things going on. And for our healthy people, there's also a bit of vegetables here. But our chef will better explain what he is going to be preparing for us um, for our lovely main course. Chef, over to you. Yeah, yeah, my sister. So. For the main course, I mean, I'll prepare a, a, a king clip, okay. which is called a king clip then It's mm -hmm. going to be king clip uh, with a nice sauce on top. Uh, my starch is just fondant potatoes. Potato. That's why Abu would say a cut ah, okay. So we call them fondant potato. potato Mini fondant, fondant. Yeah, like a <laughs> Yes, there's a, a, a chocolate fondant. Oh, okay. Yes, so all let right. the fondant, it's just, just molded. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, the art, cut the Then there's so, uh, some vegetables, just uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Okay. Yes. So mm. that's what you're going, how you're going to mix it? Can, what goes with what exactly? Um, this and this and this. It goes together. Okay. Yeah, then I seafood le. I sense I'm gonna sauce. So it's gonna be seafood mix for my sauce. Uh, some cheese, uh, lemons, onion, obviously, garlic, mm -hmm. and fresh herbs. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. And then your and vegetables. And the olive oil and uh, a bit of flour. All right. Yes. Yeah. So my vegetables are mixed up only. The broccoli. Broccoli. Pinza guba cold flour. Pinza besa guba the carrot. All right. Yes, with the nice seasoning. But in the winter, we're going to some crazy. This is long seller for plating. Okay. Yes. Um, take it away, chef. Please yeah. do start with um, whatever you'll be starting with. And I see you have sorry. Yeah. Um, your <coughs> coriander, your yeah. Can I think this one I'm going to eat for for just for garnishing and oh, stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just to make the dish look Looks, pretty. Uh, yeah. And the red onion is the we can, can we substitute with the normal onion that we have? Cause yeah, sometimes but usually I like using red onion, especially on salads, just to give color. The color. Yeah, the color. Yeah. All right. But for now, I've got only this one, so I'm going to use it as well. All it's right. not a problem. Mm. Move over, chef. Can you please get into your main course? Okay, my sister. This is uh, king clip. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, using fish spice. Okay. Garlic. Just simple fish yeah. spice. Yeah. Just fish spice, garlic, uh, squeezed lemon, and mm. uh, then olive oil. Because they don't get the spicing. Uh, okay, for now, we yes. marinate her. All right. Yes, no, you marinate And is the now. king clip available at any of the stores maybe yes. in the kingdom? So that yes, our viewers know where to find it. Uh, they can things. get it anywhere from, I think, uh, uh, one of the suppliers like Bo Ocean Fresh, Fresh uh, yes. AD Enterprises. They've okay. got a lot of fish there. So I'm going to marinate But for now, I'm going to make a bit of milk. So let milk in the lagui soak, it's going to be more juicy. Yeah, one. Because yeah. kinkip tends yeah. to dry a bit. It, yeah, it's yeah. white meat. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, so for now we we dip it in an LBC. Uh huh. That's a technique yes. we didn't know, and but very that. easy. So now I'm using lemon. All right. Yes, bit of lemon. I'll shoot the la. Because Just half a yeah, lemon. fish goes nicely with the uh, lots and lots of lemons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it again. Great. And done. So yes, we're about to fish spice, yeah. All right. Yeah. Just ordinary yeah. fish spice. Ordinary that fish for spice. La, la, no man, go, yeah, fish. just ordinary fish spice for, for, for seasoning. Okay. Yes, put it here, nice. Not too much. Okay. Yeah. Just specific yeah. to how much you need on it. Yes. Maybe two table. Um, yeah, two, two, ta two tablespoons of fish. Yeah. Okay. Depending, we'll see when the interval is All right. Yes. Then, done. Okay. After that, it's separated uh, garlic. Yeah, okay. can I get Let me something? get you a grater. Yeah, please. Okay, quick, 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 grate it. So I like it to be more finer. After grating, I'll chop it. So yeah. how many? Yeah, I'll use maybe a, one clo we I'll, clove. We I'll use two. Okay. Yeah, I'll use just for, for this one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But garlic is a very important ingredient, I see in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, it's very important because it gives nice taste. Good flavor. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we chop our lemon a bit. You want it fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. I'm going to put uh, something to put it on. Okay, I want just to mix it with uh, my olive oil. Okay. Yeah, for, for, for marinade. Just Maybe just a small sauce. A small one. Yeah, a small, small one. Okay. 
Okay. Put it on top. Okay. Let's yeah. And then you yeah. go over and you spread the yeah, garlic. Yeah, spread the garlic. All right. Both sides, spread the garlic. Nicely. It already looks tasty and yeah. I can smell the garlic. Um, and the lemons as yes, well. Yes, and, and the, the lemons. Mm. Yeah, it goes together. It smells very good. Okay, a bit of olive oil. Right. Here is my olive oil, yeah? Over there. Put it nicely on top. You're just dressing yeah. it to, to make it remain? Uh, actually, when you're doing marinades, marinades uh, work nicely with uh, some oil inside because the oil end up with the spicing, not so it's it's going to be crusty. Yeah, oh, but end up with the oil in the So if you don't use this oil on your marinades, so very obviously. Tau sugar. Tau sugar. Yeah, but yeah. So you can see now, we say, say now, we'll look at you, Sinyana. My father, Gela. We're done. Okay, I'm done with my king clip. I'll take it to, to the griller, but for now, I just want to chop chop some few vegetables. Okay, the so that was especially. just yeah. um, some milk and. Yeah, it's just some milk, uh, fish spice, uh, fresh lemon, garlic. Yeah, that's your it. olive oil. And the olive and oil. And you're done with yes, your marinade. Yes, I'm done. Okay, and yeah. then just over to the grill. Yeah, then which you will yeah. show us, Chef. Yes, I'll show you. Yes. Now, but for now, I want to quickly do this okay. just to peel my carrots when it's going to be fast. Peel my carrots. And what are you using your carrot for? Uh, for vegetables. Oh. Yes, it's going to be a mixed vegetable. Yes. So, so now I'm doing the preparation. So, so that nothing color is going to be thin for the cooking and cooking. All right. Just make them very, very small. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, finely so chopped. So you're just doing finely chopped yeah, mushrooms? Yeah, finely chopped mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Just get me a big plate. All right. Finely chopped. Okay. Let me get okay. Uh, one more. Take so you this. just use three mushrooms, yeah, not too just, many? Yeah, not too many. Just three. Three will They do. are just to taste. Yes. For your, what are you using for, the For push? my sauce that okay. I'll put on top of the king clip. All right. Okay, yes. So there you here. go. Find the chopped mushrooms. Find the chopped mushrooms. Your chopped broccoli, your cauliflower. Yes. Then we head on over to the store. Now I have to chop some onions as well. Oh, okay. For here, yeah. Small onions. Okay, take this. Uh -huh. That is definitely a yeah. chef's chop. So, diced onions, small, small diced onions okay. for my sauce. Chop, chop, chop. Wow. Done. Wow. Okay. And now that we have done our seasoning, our grating, our chopping, we move over to the very interesting part, the part that makes the food to be done. It's the cooking part. Um, we're adding a bit of heat to, we're grilling our fish, um, boiling our vegetables, and everything else that will turn this into a very delicious meal. So we will head over to the stove with our chef, and he'll be showing us what you have to do, the temperatures, the, the side by side. three minutes, three minutes. So let's head over to the stove. Ready, Mandama Shisala. Okay. Just a little bit of hot water. But I'll start by boiling the vegetables together with, I'll use two, I don't know, maybe I'll use two of those. Let me just open up here. Yes, oh, sorry. So maybe yeah. on high heat or yes. medium heat? No, just high heat, it's okay. fine, because I'm just boiling. You want yeah. it to happen fast? Yeah, to be fast. Okay. So I'll put my vegetable, my two potatoes first here. A little bit of water, also here. And I'm a vegetable. I don't want to be quick. Okay. I don't, I don't like doing one thing at a time. So, say so some salt. To taste. Yeah, both sides. Maybe a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, a teaspoon of salt, salt will do. Okay. Even here. Yeah, so now I'll cover it. Okay. And how long do the potatoes go on for before you can? No, I'll get keep on checking them. All right, yeah, just until they're nice them. and soft. Yeah, not nice uh, and soft. Uh, they must be half cooked. Oh, 
because I'm going to put them straight into the oven. Okay. Yes. They're still going to go into the oven. Yeah, I just want to be quick, quick, quick. Great. Yeah. So now I'm gonna my potatoes. I mean, sorry, my carrots. Um, because I put a good. Oh, so we're fagaling a pass. I'm calling out call. Now my boy. I'm gonna mix it up too, because it'll go soft. Mm. Yeah, but so I'm gonna fry my carrots. I'm gonna. So that's just maybe yeah. one cup of water in your pot. Yeah, one cup your... of water. Yeah, will do. But depending on the angle, na ni mo na. We are born. Yes. So mama mm. ngane, ama mangane manda. So I'll just let it simmer for a couple of minutes, yeah, until it's cooked. But again, I can come this side so I can start preparing and coating all the the, the stuff here. Okay. The kalangan I fish, I'm just weaving it. Why the sabi lang ale? I mean, I'll be doing something else. Okay. So nyaloge, this is my fish. Uh, just put a little bit of uh, flour here. Yeah. I'll be over to this side. Yeah, this is my flour. So I'm like, you want into small medallions because I'm saving a lot of people. All right. Uh, maybe I'll just cut this one into half. All right. Yes. And this one cut into half. Okay. Just trim it nicely here yeah, because it doesn't look nice. Okay. So just into your yeah. flour? Into my flour. Let me add a little bit of flour. Yeah, can I please wash for me this? All right. So now I dust my sister after I'm going to it. Uh, while my vegetables are so big, uh, that's the for the, the grilling pan. Uh, okay. Okay, quickly get it here. Yeah. Okay. There you go. This is a duster. Okay. Put it here. And this is going onto the grill. On the grill. Coated in yeah. flour, but on the grill. Yes, on the grill. All right. I've never seen this mm. before. Usually, when we coat flesh with flour, so get straight to fry or no. The flour, so when they like, see in a bamboo Yes. Okay. Let me say you're using an unsticking pen. Right. Yeah, we're not using that non-sticking pen. So, but for safety reasons, it's better to coat. You coat it. Yeah, just dust it. it yeah, yes. just dust it in okay. flour. Okay, we're done. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, my veg my potatoes are cooking nicely there. Okay, just swipe my chopping board. Okay. Uh, yeah, look at my sister and I'll chop a seafood mix so that we can start preparing the sauce. You said yeah. you're putting the, the seafood mix into your sauce. Into my sauce. Not in chunks, so you're trying to make it as fine as possible exactly. so it can go into the sauce nicely. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm going to chop it nicely, small, 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 small. And you get this mm. readily prepared. It's okay. Mm. Chop nicely. All right. Yeah, mind you, now pay my sister. Mm. Um, at the same time, in Gonvea Kofuna, we see Ibele, Laokona Kon. Mm. Yeah, it's because you know, this behind me, there are two pots. Yes. Chopping, so we are checking. Chopping, chopping, checking. checking. You're yes. alternating between Yeah. Them. Okay, broccoli, yeah, Minyalo. All right. Yes. Broccoli together. So once your, your carrots are medium cooked, that's when you add the broccoli and yeah. your cauliflower. And the cauliflower. Yeah. Put it here. Yeah. And then how long does that go on for? Uh, plus minus two to three minutes. minutes. Yeah. 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 Because we still want mm. that crunch. Yes. So garlic. that's for your sauce? Yes, yeah, for my sauce. I will start with garlic. You add in two yeah. cloves of garlic. Maybe. Two cloves of garlic, yeah. Inside. Fry nicely. And what seasonings do you have to for your sauce? Now just add a fish spice because we're not nice food. Yeah, oh, yeah. alright. So you of, also uh, want to season Yeah, so the I, don't, I don't blend them nice. Yeah. And And the mushrooms. Together. Uh, let me check my pot. Yeah, how is it going? Okay. And your potatoes are still going? Your, yes. Your vegetables yeah, are still going? Yeah, they're coming okay. See, they're not good. Good seafood? Yeah. And then after that, you are going to add yeah. your seafood mix. Okay. Yeah. Zambane, they're still getting there. I mean, okay. Now, voila, okay. Great. Okay. 
seafood mix now. Just throwing in the seafood mix. And it doesn't have to cook for too long. No. Because you want to keep the flavors there as exactly. well. Exactly. So further, seafood mix, yummy. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now I think I need a little bit of flour. Okay, let me pass yeah, that over to you. Just a little bit. Uh, teaspoon. Oh, I mean, sorry, spoon. Maybe one or two. One or two teaspoons yeah. of flour. Yeah. Done. That's Fresh for the milk. consistency of your. Yeah, of my sauce. Okay. Yeah. Just add some milk for me. You'll tell me when to yeah. stop. Okay. Add gradually. Gradually. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, done. Um, okay, let it simmer. Okay. Then I'll put uh, my fish spice for seasoning. Yeah. Into your sauce. Into my sauce. And a bit of cream. Do you have cream? Cream. Okay, yes. let me get that. Yeah. Two tablespoons will do, because it's not too much. Uh, bring me some uh, more milk. Because more it's, milk. Yeah, okay. it's drying up. Yeah. More milk. Add more, I'll tell you. Add more. Yes, okay. done. That's great. great. So that was just a cup of milk. Yeah. Into your sauce. Into my sauce. And yeah. then your cream. Yes, just a dash of cream to enhance it, the flavor. Just a little bit. Put more, put, put, put. Yes, number one. And how much is that? Maybe? Uh, 25 mils. Okay. Yeah, A something like cup. Yeah. Okay. So I'll strain again. Mm -hmm. I'll use cold water. All right. Let's just put it inside. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now I'll wash my labanza. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that they don't continue cooking. Yes. And I don't restore again the color. Green must be green, white must be white. So, washi in running water, so they become overcooked and they become dark in color. Yes. So that's a tip um, the viewers at home should know that if you want to preserve the color of your vegetables, after cooking them for five minutes, three to five minutes, you wash them with cold water to retain the color. Yeah, it's onions, garlic, uh, butter, fresh cream, milk, and fish spice. Yes, yeah, and the mix. seafood mix inside. So and can mushroom. you just show us your consistency yeah. of your sauce? Chef? Yeah. Mm. Already looks delicious and the kitchen is smelling absolutely okay. amazing. So now we'll move on to the fish which you'll be grilling. Yes, I will grill and the fish now. And you still have your potatoes on the yes. go. And we're still going to move on to you adding your cheese to your to your sauce. Yes. When you're plating, before exactly. plating. Before we plate, yes. Okay, so mm. now over to the fish chef. Okay. An access Okay. There's my pan. A grill pan. Yeah, grill pan, yes. But if um, our viewers don't have that pan, they can use an ordinary pan. They can pan. just use an ordinary pan. Okay. Yeah. Just an ordinary. Or just add a bit of olive oil. Just enough to cover the pan. Yeah. Small, small. Okay. Okay, Chef, um, yeah. a lot of boiling has been happening and I see that you've taken out our veggies, we've washed them, they look very colorful and almost delicious, ready to eat. Yes. Um, now your potatoes are ready as well? They are ready. Okay, yes. you're going to be taking that yeah, out? Yeah, take them straight to the colander. And then you yeah. are getting your pan heated for grilling your fish. Okay, but I took it out because I'm busy with this now. Okay. Yeah. Just running water. Let's keep it in running water. Now I'll start to grill my fish. Okay. Yes. This pan has been here for quite a long time. So just a spread of olive oil and then yeah. you start grilling your fish. Yes. Okay. And maybe how many minutes on each side? Until it's cooked. How yeah. do you know that fish is cooked? Because uh, once it's 
starts to be golden brown. Okay. Yeah, on not, the outside. Yeah, That's on the, the outside. Color that yeah. you want. Mm. So I'll use my spatula just to lift, keep it right through. Yeah. Okay. To reduce my heat. So you start on like a high heat, maybe? Yeah, because I want to be with, with something else. Okay. Yeah, especially the potatoes. Now I'll do the chopping, chopping again. Okay. My coriander. Uh, coriander. You've got parsley, coriander, rosemary. Yeah. Yes. Everything fresh. Yeah, everything fresh. Just chop my coriander, uh, my rosemary. Okay. Yeah. Sure. The plate. Yeah, I think that one is fine. Just okay. to add your. Yeah, my potatoes. Your potatoes, yeah. okay? So you said yeah. your potatoes are still going to go into, into the, the oven. oven. Yeah, okay. into the oven. Put it here. And? Uh, some salt, please. Salt? Yes, thank you. You're trying to achieve that crispy... Yeah, I want to be roasted, sort of, okay. yeah, nice and roasted But keeping potato. them fluffy on the inside. Exactly. Uh, okay, rosemary. Nice rosemary. Okay. Bit of uh, oil with my olive oil. Small olive oil. White pepper. Okay, white yeah. pepper. So it's rosemary, white pepper, a mm. bit of olive oil. Yeah. I don't like too much spices. It's going to be salt and pepper, fresh rosemary. That's it. And then maybe, straight into yeah, the oven. Then straight into the oven. Okay. So I'll need a bit of this. Bit of garlic. Yeah, garlic. Sure. Yeah, I've got one or two here. Oh, okay. Okay, done. And what are you using the garlic for? Or for your potatoes? No, just to give taste. Okay. Yeah, nothing big. Because I just like using lots of garlic when doing my cooking. Yeah, for taste, actually. Yeah. So can I have uh, some olive oil? A bit more? Oh, olive oil, more. yeah. Just a strip on top. Yeah. bit more. Okay, it's fine. Okay, after that, they go straight into the oven. And your fish is yeah. still going? Still cooking nicely, yeah, at How low heat. How many minutes on each side now? Yeah? How many minutes on each side? Each side of the fish. Ah, I cannot be certain, but then you just keep on checking. Okay, my baking tray. And I started with my oil in a nobamba. Yeah, vamos. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'll follow my zambane arm. Done. And then you throw that into the oven. Yeah. Into until the it's oven. golden. Yeah, until it's cooked, golden brown. Okay. Yeah, I'll just put it here. I think you can clip it, I'm saying right. Because I'm putting it here, it's cool. That's it, baby. It's done. And as you have seen, my lovely food is a lot of roasting, grilling, and boiling has been done. Now we move over to the very favorite time of the day where you get to sit down with your family and enjoy a perfectly cooked 
three course meal. As our chef is going to be joining us, we have another special guest for you who is going to be helping me judge the food from our lovely chef today. We are joined by Samgeli Siwe, famously known as Mumuza Magongo, who is a self-taught chef from Babani. She will be sitting down at the table with me and enjoying this delicious food. But let's head over to the table and see what she thinks. You know what I always say, my lovely viewers, after a long day of slaving away in the kitchen, you get to sit down with your family and friends and enjoy a deliciously prepared meal. Now I am joined by the lovely Samgil Siwe, who will shortly introduce herself and our chef. And we are here about to dine and enjoy this beautifully prepared meal. Samgil Siwe, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, can you please just tell our viewers who you are and, you know... All there is to know about you. Sanbona and Bobo Vila Makaya, Kamalam in Samgilsu, Mumuza Mako. I live in Babon. I am a self taught chef. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, cooking for a while now. Okay. Yeah. And you have to engage us because. People don't trust me. You know, they don't trust a skinny cook. Yes. There's that. So <laughs> there's you here and um, you'll be giving your review on what our, our chef has prepared for us. So chef, what have you prepared for us today? Um, I've prepared a beef carpaccio stat, which is a starter. As you can see, it's got some tomatoes, um, uh, some onions and parmesan cheese on top. Mm -hmm. uh, some little bit of uh, capers and the meat as well. So that's what we're going to have for a starter for the day. Okay, it looks yes. amazing. Yeah, thank mm. you. It even yeah. smells amazing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and I've also prepared a nice dressing. Oh, okay. Yeah, with some oyster sauce, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, crushed pepper, and uh, lemon juice. Okay. Yeah, so you can just treat it on top so it kind of goes nicely with your, okay. with your salad. Okay. Mm. So, um, our foodie, obviously. Thank you. You're gonna go. This smells nice. It does. Mm. Okay. So this is the the brandy meat. Yes. And I can brandy see. Meat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I can very see. tender. Yes, mm. extremely yeah, it's tender. Good. Mm. Mm. This tastes really good. This was a very easy dish to prepare, mm. and it tastes absolutely amazing. And the meat is cooked as well. Mm. It is, yeah. eh? it is. Yeah. It's very nice. I didn't mm. trust that um, it was gonna cook right through because you know, some of us don't like your rare meats where there's blood the dish eggs, going yes. on, but this, it gives you the well done taste. It does. It's very nice and tender. It's a very good starter. So, Mumu, we've really dug into this delicious, delicious starter. You've gotten a taste of all of the flavors from your cheese to the lovely lettuce, the tomato. I see a bit of olives. Um, what do you think about the dish that our chef has prepared for us today in terms of taste, flavor, preparation? It's also very easy to make. Um, yeah, what, what is your honest, honest opinion? Well, I love that. Everything blends well together. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. The meat is tender. The salad is crunchy. The, 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 the dressing is a bit tangy and sweet. Mm. It's very nice. Mm. You can also taste the, the cheese. Mm. Mm. It's a very nice. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Sister. Very nice. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef, for our starter. We'll continue to dig in, but straight after that, we are heading on over to our very important meal of the day. The one that we all excited for as friends, as family, the viewers at home. I know maybe if they don't prepare the whole three course meal, they certainly go for a main because we all love mains. So we will certainly move over to our main just after the starters, but stay tuned for more food. 
We have had a lovely time indulging in our beautifully prepared starter, which was very easy on the tongue and quite filling. But right now we move on to the most important meal of the day, our main course, which was very easy to make, but and now has come out very beautifully. I see lots of colors on my plate. Mostly a healthy dish, um, looks gorgeous. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, Mumu, what's, what's your take on this one? I love the presentation. It, it looks amazing. Absolutely. It looks very nice. And Chef? Yes. What have you prepared for us? Um, I've prepared uh, king clip thermido and fondant potatoes underneath and some seasonal vegetables on the side. Okay. That's what I've prepared for your mango. Let's just go in. Let's just yeah. go in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. One thing, Chef, um, that you did, the techniques that you were using in the kitchen surely do come out when you're eating. Um, you went from boiling your vegetables, not for a long time, three minutes, five minutes tops, yeah. and you threw them in and you started washing them with cold water. Yes. The color is preserved. Um, the taste is amazing. They've got that crunch. Um, I love it. And I love it. It's very nice. Mm. Thank you. And very flat, fresh to the palate. Mm. Mm. And these are very fresh vegetables. So, um, please let the viewers know what you think about the fish, the texture of the fish, and most importantly, the potato that has been used as a base, um, how it came out, and yeah, your honest review about our lovely dish. I think you can't fault it, but... <laughs> There's no fault at all. Mm. The fish is very nice and tender. Mm. The potato goes well with the fish and the seafood topping. Mm. Very nice, chef. And you saw how our chef um, left his fish in milk? Yes. To ensure that it, it still remains um, moist, mm. very juicy. It's not dry at all. It's not dry at all. The sauce, the cheese, it all comes together. Let's just use that. For me, this is certainly a 10 out of 10. I can't fault anything. Beautiful dish. Um, I think Lana, no more I pay your toilet. Because the nurse music prepare about dessert. No more I don't go to your Lala. For New Year's Eve, you'll be fine. Because this is a three-course meal that we love our viewers to prepare now during the festive season and on other days. Maybe you can enjoy this. It, it, it goes well on a cold day and on a hot day because the vegetables, are they are light yet filling. So this is a great dish to have. Potato for starch. Exactly. Nice. It's a dish to have any day. And yeah, maybe if you're going to have dessert, you need to give it a few I hours. I can't wait for dessert. Mm, because now we've, we've seen all of this. Mm. Our starter was good. Our main was good, Chef. Um, I think our dessert is going to be amazing. It's yeah. going to top everything. So while we dig in, and then maybe a few hours, we jump into our dessert. Yeah. Let's go. And to end off our sweet, sweet day, we have a little sweet something from our lovely chef. Habona Maktiwa, chef's plate. E do, do you get it? Yes. If you don't get it, <laughs> forget about it. This is definitely something worth it. Like, no manga busutikanga, lana, udobuya for sure. 
Please, tell me what you think. Chef, this looks very nice. What have you prepared for us for dessert? Um, it's a peppermint crisp tart uh, with ice cream and uh, snap sugar for garnish. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah. But I think it's all in the art. Yes, you know, it's, it's, the presentation. It's, yeah, it just it's captures perfect. you immediately. Perfect. Hey, I know. Bangaze babone tinga tam ngolong velengi je. I'm even tempted to ask. Do you know why in lolo gune? Ah, lolo gune nje na ngi. You can ish. Mm. It's just for decoration. Answer, but yeah, it's just for decoration. So no mm. pressures to my viewers. They can make this as simple as you showed us. Yeah. Lolo gune. Which one? I, I mean, they can make the the peppermint crisp on mm. its own. Mm. The garnishing, the techniques, they are definitely for a chef. Very nice. Yeah. Not too sweet. Mm. Not too sweet at all. Thank you very much um, to our chef for preparing this beautiful three-course meal. Um, we enjoyed it so much. It's a great dish to eat um, New Year's Eve or any other day, really. Um, we've learned a lot of techniques. But um, lastly, as we close off the show, um, what would you like to say to the viewers at home? Any message um, to our lovely viewers, Emma Kaya? Sebonga, Sisi. Um, I would like to invite uh, most of our viewers uh, to come at uh, the grill at Nkonyeni mm. because that's where I'm working currently. I am the chef at uh, the grill at Nkonyeni. So I would like people to come and have fun at Nkonyeni because uh, there's a lot of things going on there. Mm. We're doing the cooking and the food is nice. Mm. So we also cater for Mafang Shinzi, birthday parties, weddings, etc. So I would advise people to come and have a taste and have that signature taste that we have at the grill. Mm. Thank you very much. I can certainly agree with you. This is definitely a signature taste. You have my opinion and please do come and taste this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful food that our chef prepares at the grill at Ngonyeni. And our lovely Mumuza who joined us today. And a New Year's message to our lovely viewers from you, Mumuza. Stay safe, mm -hmm. apply COVID rules always, wear your yeah. mask, sanitize. Happy New Year to everybody. All right, thank you very much, Chef. We really love the experience and for you to show our viewers what you can make in the comfort of your own home. Just like that, we have to unfortunately wrap up, but please do stay tuned. I will be bringing you one more person to give you the best of dishes in the kingdom of Iswatini that you can make in your own kitchen. From me, Tabelo Jamini, it is good night, but I'll see you again. <laughs>